Um. 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 I'm about to submit my project video for the tool making competition. It was fun. Uh, there were some memories involved. And I think I did a pretty good job of following all of the rules that were set forth in the competition. And I'm happy with my final result. So ahead of you are the clips of the progression of the project and some other biographical information. Enjoy. Here is my piece of material for the tool making competition. It is A2 tool steel, uh, ground all over. Anybody that watches me knows that A2 is probably 80% of the projects that I do. It is eighth inch thick and two inches wide and probably about a foot long there. Um, and I am going to use this single piece of material to make some gauges. I'm going to do this entirely with a hacksaw and some files and no milling. I'll probably use the drill press for some relief holes. So. I'll get started with the layout. So before I actually begin laying out, I, I dyed it up there. Um, this this edge here is already ground square to everything else. This edge is a rough saw cut. So what I'm going to do is um, keep all this attached. I'm not going to just saw off a little piece. And I'm going to just file this edge square to this edge and then I'll be able to use this surface and this surface as a datum surface to do the rest of the layout and it'll save me some time uh, filing and squaring everything up if I can do it as one solid piece At this point I have everything sawed out that I'm going to saw out. It went okay. Now I'm just going to file to the lines. strategy that I'm using here to get my surfaces filed square is I have this uh, it's sort of like a sacrificial 1-2-3 block so this is hardened steel this is not hardened steel um, and I'm going to use uh, gauge blocks angle blocks different things like that to to line up with the surface plate um, so it just so happens that the block is two inches, okay, and I want this to finish at three quarters of an inch. This V block is an inch and a quarter, so what I do is I just line it up with the bottom, place the gauge to be parallel with this, and just clamp it in place. And then I'll put this in the vise and file that top surface until it's basically flush and I'll be able to take it out and measure it for parallelism as well and I'm gonna have a similar approach when I do the angles I'll just have angle blocks uh, that I can use here and then line up the scribe lines
I'm ready to do the 30 degree angles on the end of the fishtail gauge here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take this 30 degree parallel here and just clamp it to the block. So now the block is on there, it's flush to the bottom. And the real trick to this is still being able to catch these lines that I scribed because that essentially is what I'm going to line up. So I'll use my good eye, find where that line starts to disappear on this, which there isn't very much. Not very much at all. And that is the place where I will apply the second clamp. So the second clamp is down towards the bottom there. So now I can safely remove the clamp that's holding on the parallel since I don't need that reference point anymore. And I can apply it to the workpiece. One thing that I realized when I did some of the other surfaces is you definitely have to be careful where the clamps lie. Uh, for example, these buttons, uh, the rivets that hold the pads in, they can't be above the filing surface or they get in the way. So everything has to be below the filing surface. Um, clamping pressure obviously is pretty important. want to make sure we have adequate clamping pressure because we don't want the piece to move during the filing. So this one's ready to begin finishing that surface. Here's the completed fishtail gauge. Pretty happy with it. Finish looks nice. All the edges came out real good. Um, I decided to just go with one V groove. Um, they're not very accurate because they're made with the file. Can't really get in too deep uh, and get it accurate anyway. So, um, but everything else seemed to come out real nice. So, now it's time to start on the angle gauge. The layout's finished here. It's a little bit difficult to see. Here's the 118, 45, and 82. Um, so I'm going to start sawing this out and back to the filing. I now have the angle gauge finished. I just got to clean it up, but just to uh, sort of give you an idea of what's going on here, basically just have a 45. Uh, these are pretty square, so if we need to lay out or measure a 45, and then this, uh, that's why I have the drill here, this would be to measure a drill tip. So you, you can line up the body on the flat, and then just run the angle up to make sure the angle is correct. So that's a 118 sort of standard drill tip there. So I'm gonna get these cleaned up and see what they look like together. Here's the big reveal. We have our angle gauge and our fishtail gauge. A2 tool steel made with hacksaw and file. 
no electricity required. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was enjoyable, and I hope that my submission is considered for a finalist position. Thank you.